such a good girl, love a vampire. Such a good vampire now. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, this is the first time they gave us napkins. No respect. What the? Here. Is it a big old baby. You guys, this is a double. What is this? This is a double chili cheese burger. What's up and welcome back to my channel, Natalie Rea here and welcome to today's vlog. For today's video, Phoenix and I made it to Pottenstein. Yes, I've been to Pottenstein twice already. The first time was for the cave and the alpine coaster. However, the alpine coaster was closed. So then the second time, that was literally the main and only reason why we came to Pottenstein to do the alpine coaster. And let me just tell you, that was amazing. But the reason why we came to Pottenstein this time is to try a steak on a stone. So I've actually heard about this place a few months back. Someone recommended eating steak on a stone and that day i kind of just forgot about it anyways fast forward a few months and two days ago i was like hey let's go eat steak on a stone so i googled it and i found this place and i believe this place is called the shutter's mule it is a restaurant but in a hotel which a majority of gustav's like hotels have restaurants so this is what this place is so i am super excited but before we continue if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe down below right now also make sure you click that little notification bell button is right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos and if you would like to follow me on instagram at natalie raya that's how you can find me so making a quick stop before we head to the restaurant it's so beautiful here okay this stop was pretty damn cool We were like somewhere right up there. Okay, so we just got to Berg Pottenstein. Oh my god, this is okay so this is it this is the castle and i guess we were across it which you guys saw the view it was really really pretty this was it so we were somewhere up there in that hill berg pottenstein no english Ooh, a well oh there is water oh which is not that expensive it's five euro for adults and 250 for children and then for family there's always a deal for family so i think that's neat 13 euro okay so i was reading it and there's a date that says the 27th so it might be open today okay so we are gonna do it going up there right now to check it out there's a little kitty god damn these are the like look at these steps i almost tripped three times they're like the tiniest little steps Ooh, kitty's following. It's getting prettier from up here. Ooh. Okay, this already is nice. 
I'm ready to go. So this castle was actually bought in 1918 and there's currently people living here. I think that's really cool. I mean, it's also a museum, but that's pretty neat. So this is the view that you get from the back. Okay, you can see a lot from up here. We are on the side of the castle and I've actually heard that there's mini golf and it turns out it's right there, which I was wondering where it was at. And then as you could see, like right by it, there's a pool and then there's a pool slide. I think that's really cool. Literally another reason why to come to Pottenstein. And then over there looks like a cemetery. I'm pretty blind, so I'm not as sure, but this is really, really neat. Oh, imagine staying in that hotel right there. I swear, scenery here is amazing. Again, with these steps, I actually want to see how tall they are because look at this. During summer, this lake is an awesome place to come to. Devil's Cave. Ooh, Shutter Shmuel. So it's here. Okay, they're actually not open. They open at 5 p.m. It is 4.13. Okay, so we just came right around the corner. We didn't want to wait in the parking lot. Well, I didn't because I thought that's awkward. A little videography moment. I'm right by the road, so it's still pretty loud. But when there's no cars passing by, it actually sounds really nice because of the water. Oh, this is an actual golf course. Okay, I got the pork apparently. The Phoenix got the steak, which that one's supposed to be mine. Anyway, so it looks like there's two sides rice, potatoes, and then a salad. Okay, so we just got out. I know you guys cannot see me. It is super dark. It is 6 p.m. But since we're getting closer to winter, and the sun is going down a lot earlier. We're gonna head home already in the dark through the forest. All right, guys, we are now back home. How was the food? I think it was actually really good. The sides, which was the salad and like the dipping sauces, those were good. Oh, it came with potatoes. I liked those as well with the cheese. That was good. I had a lot of leftovers. Not that I didn't like my pork. It was actually really good, but I actually got full with the potatoes. So yeah, I do think we could have gotten away with only ordering one. Bebe, did you like yours? On a scale from one to 10, what do you rate it? Seven and a half. Seven and a half? 
I think I would give it an 8. I really like the idea of it. I mean, cooking your own steak on the stone, like right in front of you. I think that is genius. Phoenix got the steak, which was 28 euro, which is pricey. And then I got the pork, which was not that expensive. It was only 15 euro. I do recommend checking out that place. I'll leave the name to the restaurant down below in the description so you guys could check it out if you guys ever go to Pot and Stein. Honestly, like, going around pot inside today made me realize how much there is to do there the first time that i went was only for the devil's cave and i had so much fun that day there wasn't much that we did because we didn't know what was there to do but then a lot of you guys recommended things to do like little by little and now that i have like everything if i could i would do it all in one day i think you could do everything in one day but if you have time if you have an entire weekend then just go two days i mean there's the devil's caves there is the castle there is a little amusement park that's not really an amusement park because there's probably like maybe four things that you could do which is like the skywalker that i showed you guys and then there's like a little roller coaster there's two types of roller coasters i believe and then the alpine coaster which is a must there's also the mini golf and then a regular golf and then i believe there's also go-karts there which would be the e-park something so you put that all together and there's literally a lot to do at Paul Einstein I think we made it here in like 35 minutes so that's not bad anyways with all of that being said I am gonna close today's video right here I do want to give out a shout out and today's shout out goes out to Lisa Martins shout out to you and if any one of you guys will also like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment anything your big old heart desires I love you guys all I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed to join the royal family and I will see you guys soon bye guys